Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 wedding venues in the US. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Okika Castle Featuring some of the most prestigious wedding professionals on the East Coast and delicacies from OHEK's own Chris Capello, the annual OHEK Bride and Groom Show is a must-attend to see the latest in bride and groom wedding gowns and tuxedos. Complimentary champagne and hors d'oeuvres await the avid wedding aficionado where you can win an OHEK wedding cake from the classic elegance collection designed by executive pastry chef Daniel Andriotti. For couples with opulent fairy tale fantasies, it just isn't a wedding unless you marry in a real-life castle. Located on Long Island, less than an hour from Manhattan, this European-inspired estate was built in 1919 for investment banking mogul Otto Kahn, who threw legendary Gatsby-style soirees on the property. Today, though, the grounds might be best known as the setting for Taylor Swift's Blank Space music video. Exchange vows and pose for portraits in the manicured gardens. Then, head to the Grand Ballroom, capacity, 200 or Terrace Room, capacity, 350, for dinner. With 32 sumptuous old-world-style hotel rooms on the property, you and your wedding party can also comfortably spend the night. Number 9. Everly at Railroad If you love spending weekends browsing antique malls, wouldn't it be kind of major to get married in one? When Everly at Railroad is not hosting private events, it's a 6,000-square-foot vintage shop filled with an eclectically cool assortment of secondhand finds. You can even use their chairs and pews as ceremony seating. Situated in Tuckahoe, New Jersey, just 30 minutes away from the charming seaside destination Cape May, the property was originally constructed as a train stop. Come dinner, you'll share a meal with up to 250 of your favorite people at long farm tables in the industrial barn. Then you can head to nearby local Cape May or Beach Plum Farm for your wedding night. Number 8. Bach Building one of the most fantastic tales of urban reuse in America today is happening at this former vocational high school in Philadelphia. The classrooms in this massive 340,000-square-foot building, which takes up a full city block, are now filled with all sorts of creative small businesses, jewelers, furniture makers, interior designers, and the rooftop bar and restaurant are two of the hottest spots in the city. When it comes to your nuptials, you can exchange vows on the roof or on stage in the school's original auditorium. Then dine and dance the night away in the boys' gym, capacity 300, which still boasts hardwood floors, gymnastics rings, and basketball hoops. Number 7. U.S. National Arboretum The United States National Arboretum, Garden and U.S. Department of Agriculture Research Facility stretches across 446 abundant acres of land. It's home to well-known and loved flora collections, including the Bonsai Museum, the National Grove of State Trees, and the National Herb Garden. Another Washingtonian favorite is the National Columns Display, the original columns of the U.S. Capitol that reach to the skies above the Grand Meadow. For a different twist on a garden wedding, try this 446-acre center for botanical research and display in Washington, D.C. through a new event partnership. The park began hosting weddings in late 2018 and is now the largest private outdoor event space in the city. Tented receptions can happen in a rolling meadow or in the National Grove of State Trees, but the real draw is the National Capitol Columns. These Corinthian-style columns were created in 1828 to hold up the Capitol Dome. Once it was realized they could not support its weight, they eventually found a resting place in the Arboretum and now serve as a stunning ancient Greece-inspired backdrop for wedding portraits and ceremonies. Number 6. Thorn Crown Chapel This architectural stunner in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright's apprentice E. Fay Jones and constructed in 1980. Careful attention was paid to using materials native to the northwestern region of the state, and the resulting structure is so spectacular that it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2000. This honor is very rarely bestowed upon buildings less than 50 years old. At first glance, it seems as though the 48-foot-high minimalist chapel is fully at home with the woodsy surrounds, but 425 windows, 
and air conditioning. Ensure that a ceremony for up to 100 will go on without any interference from the elements. Afterwards, nearby Basin Park Hotel and the 1886 Crescent Hotel and Spa offer similarly steeped in history locales for your reception. Important to note, Thorn Crown Chapel is part of a Christian organization, so they do require that all ceremonies conducted in the space be Christ-centered. Number 5. The George Peabody Library While you can't marry at Hogwarts, Baltimore's George Peabody Library might just be the next best thing. First opened in 1878, the five tiers of cast iron balconies rise 61 feet above the main floor, and the stacks contain approximately 300,000 books. Dinner and dancing for up to 170 happen underneath a lattice skylight and atop a black and white slab marble floor, and bibliophiles will be happy to know that event proceeds support the upkeep of the collection and founding philanthropist George Peabody's original goal to ensure the space stays open for all of the public to enjoy. Number 4. Camp Wandawaga. Say it with us, summer, camp, wedding. Does it get any more fun than that? Young at heart couples who love the idea of a weekend spent paddling canoes, sleeping in rustic cabins, and roasting marshmallows over an open campfire should absolutely consider this playfully adorned No Frills Lake Resort in Elkhorn, Wisconsin. A smattering of cottages, dorm-style lodges, and campsites can host around 50 overnight guests, but a reception for up to 150, which typically takes place on an old concrete tennis court, can last long into the night. Number 3. Oakland Cemetery Atlanta's oldest public park boasts 48 detail-laden acres of manicured gardens, unique architecture, and sloping hills. It's also a working cemetery. Gone with the Wind author, Margaret Mitchell is buried there. While that might sound spooky enough to lay the groundwork for a Halloween-inspired wedding, it definitely doesn't have to. The Victorian-era mausoleums are intricate enough to still exude romance, and, come springtime, the flowering bushes serve as a built-in backdrop for a garden wedding. Exchange vows in the open air, or for a bit more coverage, head to the on-site greenhouse. Number 2. Bear Flag Farm Situated between Sacramento and San Francisco, this 33-acre vineyard estate in Winters, California combines all the best aspects of a farm wedding into one luxe Golden State experience. The property is dotted with orchards, lavender fields, and grapevines, making for stunning natural views and picture-perfect ceremony backdrops in whichever direction you turn. Reception spaces included amphitheater ringed in sycamore trees or a tent in the vineyards, and the dinner menus are filled with fresh ingredients sourced right from the property. For a touch of whimsy, ask about the farm's Ferris wheel add-on. Number 1. Dunton Hot Springs From the rustic charm of the beautifully appointed cabins to the natural splendor of the mineral hot springs, Dunton serves as the perfect setting for your memorable event. This romantic ghost town, located across the mountain from Telluride, offers 13 unique, luxury accommodations surrounded by picturesque views of 14,000-foot mountain peaks, aspens, rivers, and meadows. The magic of a winter wedding often lies in its smaller scale. There's something terrifically intimate about cozying up with your nearest and dearest while flurries fall from the sky, and the experience is made all the more special when you're in a remote setting. Spring for a full buyout of Colorado's Dunton Hot Springs, a rustic resort nestled in an alpine valley in the San Juan Mountains, and you'll achieve exactly that. This former mining town sleeps up to 44 in a series of well-appointed log cabins, and the open-air chapel provides a picturesque spot to say I do directly in the snow. After a reception in the dance hall and saloon, guests can spend the rest of their time lounging in the naturally heated mineral waters or dog sledding and snowmobiling in the great outdoors. That's all for today. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.